Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're at Sand Bay Beach Resort for our annual Whitefish Ice Fishing Party. Mills Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Mills Fleet Farm is your fishing headquarters. Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy, holy, holy. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that walleye, Danny. Look at the size of that fish. Yes, folks, there's nothing more fun than getting a group together and heading up to Sand Bay Beach Resort to do some white fishing on the Bay of Green Bay this time of year. And I'm with my uh, host and buddy, Captain Dale Scroshine over here, Dale. This is a party on the ice, white fishing, isn't it? It's become a big deal. You know, it's yesterday's perch. You know, so many of the families don't have anything to do in the winter really and the one thing that they can get out and really spend some quality time together was out chasing perch. Well that all kind of dissipated over the years. It's coming back slowly but surely but today now we've got white fish. But here's the deal everybody today you got to get white fish get your limit of 10 fish if you do that you get Johnsonville's and chili. How's that sound? Right. Yeah let's go. Save on items large and small at Mills Fleet Farms Buy and Get Savings Event. When you buy a Milwaukee M18 Combo Kit for $3.99, you'll get this radio for free. For the family, buy one pair of Coleman shoes. Get the second pair 50% off. Stock up, buy one Burpee or Livingston seed packet and get the second 50% off. And buy one pound of chocolates for $3.99, get the second bag 50% off at Mills Fleet Farms Buy and Get Savings Event. We're at the Clam Headquarters in Rogers, Minnesota. And you know what, Matt? When my dad and I go ice fishing, we love fishing for everything from bluegills to northern pikes. And you know what's so great about clam is that you have the rod and the combo for all different species. Can you tell me a little bit more? You bet, like Blake said, so whether you're targeting big bluegills, lake trout, big northern pike, you have a rod or reel combo to match it. And we have all different spectrums. So depending on whether or not you're a beginner, or let's say an expert or somebody that wants to invest in higher end gear. We have everything to meet your needs. So rod and reel combos and rods only, we got you covered. That's awesome. For more information, check out clamoutdoors.com. From the makers of the best-selling Yamaha Grizzly and Kodiak 700 comes the all new Kodiak 450, the world's only mid-size ATV with Yamaha proven off-road capability, all day comfort and confidence inspired performance. The all new Kodiak 450, starting at just $59.99. Folks, when I head out to fish, I always stock up on my favorite Baitmate fish attractants. Dale, I just put that Baitmate on, man. Baitmate offers a complete line of fish attractants and convenient spray bottles for every angler and every species of fish. They've got your bait covered. I also have the newest Baitmate delivery system in my boat, Baitmate Ultra Live Game Fish Dip. Simply flip open the lid and dip your bait for even application every time, and it's ideal for frequent cast. I, I just dipped that in the bait mate, you know that? Improve your chances of catching fish with bait mate fish attractants. It just makes sense. Hey, welcome back folks. As we mentioned at the top of the program, white fishing on Sturgeon Bay out of Sand Bay Beach Resort. And Blake, uh, this, is your, this is your first time trying to catch a whitefish, isn't it? Yep. And you know, it's interesting. They really, really stay on the bottom. That's why I like to use this uh, new hyper rattle. And this has been a red hot bait for walleyes in the Midwest. So what I do is put it down, pound the bottom a little bit, okay? That stirs up a little bit of mud and draws the whitefish in. Then you raise it real slowly. And you really got to pay attention because it's not like a walleye bite yeah okay. it's, it's kind of like a little subtle hang on and then set the hook and go to town hey here we go Dan's got one on all right Danny Ooh. Danny's gonna be the first to connect today they're fun aren't they buddy that's we're pretty good yeah they do fight man Better and the my panties I usually catch oh let's oh, see it's... here he comes oh there's a nice way to start the day nice. now Dale those are slippery I know but we want to have Dan you want to hold that up buddy yeah, one thing, John, you always want to hold a mid-body like that. You want to make sure that you grab them and sometimes use this back dorsal kind of just as a, a, a break, if you will, so he doesn't squirt out of your hand. Now, Dan, where are you from, buddy? I'm from northern Illinois. 
Well, Northern Illinois Grays, is a big area. Grays Lake, Illinois is on the map. Uh, what is it again? Grays Lake, Illinois. Grays Lake, Illinois. Well, Northern welcome Illinois. to Dora County. Almost some big whitetails, too, probably. <laughs> yeah, you probably, yeah. Illinois. But I'll tell you, thanks for coming up. I mean, this white fishing is a blast, and you can keep 10 of those. Uh, excellent. Dale, Dale, Lori's going on. Lori's going on. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. She actually, folks, <laughs> caught a small one before that yep. we didn't film. Oh, okay. Look at how that rod's Well, this bending. one looks like it's got a little more weight to it. Yeah, ooh, oh, there, there we there, go. There. That's a nice one right there. Now, Lori, oh, tell, tell the folks where you're from, by the way. Marytown. Marytown near Lake Winnebago. Near Lake Winnebago. We fish Lake Winnebago. Yes, we do. Oh, did you see our show out there a couple yes, weeks ago? Yes, we saw you slipping and sliding In around. 50 Woo! mile an hour winds, right? Woo! Now, Dale said I before, know. hold them together. Yeah, very, very well, slippery. Now, have, oh, you, they are. have you eaten these yet? No, this is the first time we've ever fished them. Okay, here's the fun thing with whitefish. You can fix them so many different ways. You can have them smoked, you can deep fry them, you can boil them. And Ryan, the photographer there was out in Las Vegas a couple years ago on the menu, whitefish for $35 a plate. So. It's a long oh. way to ship them over there. Buddy. Yeah, <laughs> but, no, hold them up. I mean, that, that's make and, them for all of our friends. How are they hitting? Real soft. Yeah, yeah. But when you hit, you really got to get them up fast. <laughs> well, good job. I, I've lost some already. Yeah, even the show host gets a shot here. Blake, you're gonna have to try and grab this fish now. They're real slippery. Okay, here he comes, and uh, see if you can grab them for Dan. Look at how clear that water is, Blake. Oh, get him, Blake! Get him, Blake! Look at her go, folks! Oh no! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> oh, hold him up there, Blake. That was a good job, man. Oh. Bring him up here. They're real slippery. Looks now. like my gloves are done for the day. <laughs> oh no! That was a great save. You hold it now. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, there, there he is. Look at that. No, that. Whoa! That was a good job on your part there. Oh, that was. Wow. Are your gloves all wet now? Or if you could say that. Yeah, right. But that's a nice whitefish. I want you to catch one because they're fun. I'm going to put this one in the pile over there, and I'm going to show you how to jig, okay? All right. Sounds good. Hey, Jim Marini's got one on here. All right, Jimbo. Mark, I'll tell you what, that pe that pole is bending something fierce. <laughs> oh, it does. It, it looks like a big one, Jim. Oh, there this does look like a big one. Well, how was the bite? Good. Was the bite real hard? Yeah, when he hit, he, he hit it hard. Did he really? Yes, he did. That water is so clear oh, down there, folks. The line is tangled here. Oh, look at the wow. size of that jumbo, man. <laughs> oh. now, now, Jim, we got to hold that right up here so we can right, see the fish in that. Jim's face. Okay. <laughs> that is a gorgeous fish there, buddy. That really is. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Do yeah. they fight pretty good? Oh, it did. It did. It was great. Yeah. Now, Jim, where are you from, buddy? I'm from Marytown. Where? Marytown. Where is that? That's right off of Lake Winnebago. Okay, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a gorgeous way right? Do you fish walleyes on Winnebago? Yes, we do. Do yep, you? Yep. I was yep. out there last week. I know you were. I was I blowing see. around in the wind out there. <laughs> I've seen that. Yeah. The nice thing is, Jim, you can keep 10 of these a day. Yep. Do you have any idea how you're going to make them? I think I'm going to smoke them. They're supposed to be. Are, Mark, yeah, is that yeah. the deal? Really good smoke? Oh, of course. They're amazing yeah, smoke. Yeah, yeah. Are they? Oh, yeah, that they yeah. are. Kathleen, all right, where to go? We got a white. Oh, that's a dandy. Look, you grab them. <laughs> Can you grab them? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, there we go. They are so dang. Look at how yeah, slippery they are. That is, that's oh. a beautiful fish right there. Awesome. Now, how, I haven't had a bite yet because I'm running around filming fish and whatever. So you're just pounding the bottom? Pound in the bottom, and the, you, just as you raise it up, it's it's almost like there's just it's stuck just a little bit. And you set the hook. Set the hook. That's a beauty right there. That's and awesome. where are you from? I'm from Soldiers Grove, Wisconsin. That's near La Crosse. About an hour south of La Crosse. So do you fish the Mississippi a lot? We do fish in Mississippi. A lot of pan fish and walleye over there. Yeah, is this your first time white fishing? It is my very first white fish. Now, how do you think you're gonna cook this? Well, we were discussing that, but I think we might smoke it. Oh, that's the way to do it. Look yeah. at that. That's a beauty. Assistant guide Mark has got one on. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, how you doing today? Uh, ooh, that's oh, a whopper. Man. Look Check at this out. one, folks. Look at the size of this one. Wow. That is a, now that's a beautiful fish. Now, you guide with Dale every day. Is that, that's a little bit bigger than the norm? Oh, it, it definitely is. This is a nice, chunky white fish. Yeah, that's really pretty. And again, catching on, on, on that rattle uh, deal there, that hyper rattle. That's a oh, good bait. Oh, man. it yeah. is. We're just crushing them on that today. And so just kind of bouncing it on the bottom? Yep, just a couple, you know, two to three inches like that. Let it sit every once in a while and just a nice, you know, 
and uh, they'll just come in and hammer it. Folks, my buddy Rusty drove all the way over from Longville, Minnesota to experience some white fishing. Oh, uh, yeah, let's like see. Oh, he's on the ice there, John. Oh, there, good, there you oh. go. Oh, what's uh, that bait you got on that's there? That's a hyper rattle, John, and we've used these on walleye. He's been very successful with them this winter. And I just thought I'd give it a try on white fishing. Boy, they, this one really smacked it. What do you like about that hyper rattle? You know, it's it's heavy, and it, it, it but it still has a nice glide. And that heavy, you can really pound that bottom and attract those fish over. All right, my buddy Mark, I haven't seen you in a year. You know what? Uh, oh, there we go. That's another oh, dandy that's right nice there, buddy. Here, let me grab them for you. Now, Dale said grab them by the back, but I grab them by two hands. That's the way to do it. Yep. Hey, good to see you, man. How many good years? To see you, John. How, how many years you and I have been fishing together now? Well, at least the last four years. Isn't that amazing? Oh, it's, a, it's, it's a great. It's a lot of fun. Time goes by. Now, where are it you does. guys from? You, you your brothers are my here. My brothers uh, live in Northern Illinois, Crystal Lake, and Huntley, and I live in uh, Reno, Nevada. Well, you come all the way out here. That's right. Come, you come all the way I from come Nevada. Here to, to ice fish with Dale and you guys. Yeah, hold that one up though. It's Again, nice one. now how do you fix these? You know, I think I'm gonna start smoking them. Are you? I'm, I'm here, and that's the best, really good way to go. I love smoke fish, man. Yeah. But uh, I've uh, I like to put them on the Weber. You know. Yeah. Any way you do it is they're fabulous. Folks, for the last 19 years, I've had the pleasure of running Yamaha ATVs on the show. They are rugged, they are tough, and totally reliable. And this year, Dan, I've been running, as usual, the Grizzly. This year, I've got the limited edition, but this is really the flagship uh, of, of the Yamaha ATVs. It is, yeah. This one's got all the bells and whistles on it, so you know it's got the proven 700cc engine in it. Of course, it's fuel injected, uh, and it's the industry first ATV with electronic power steering and then you got the bells and whistles with the uh, the heated handle grips the heated seat uh, on the windshield up front and I can go anywhere I got the camzo tracks too right absolutely yeah those are full season tracks you can take them uh, take them anywhere and this is the brand new Wolverine how cool huh yeah that's it John you're looking at the Wolverine X4 uh, this has got a new 850 cc twin cylinder engine in it. it's very smooth very quiet uh, it's got our industry first electronic power steering uh, fuel injection uh, in our on-command four-wheel drive system. Yeah, take a look in the back here. You got room for seating for four adults in this vehicle, folks, and a lot of cargo space, right? Absolutely, yep. With our uh, our convertible seating system, you can fit up to four full-size adults, or you can slide the seats forward, have a lot of cargo room in the bed. And you know what? My buddy, Dale Strohschein, who runs one of the biggest guide services in the state, he switched to Yamaha. Let's go find out why. We run these things in really extreme conditions. 10, 15, sometimes 20 below out here with wind chills and even cooler than that at times. And you know, then the next day it's raining and pouring or we got a foot of water on here. We never have any problems. The dependability is just, and the reliability doesn't get any better. That's great, that's great to hear, you know, and touching on that dependability of the machines, uh, you know, all of our Yamaha Vikings now come with three years of genuine Yamaha coverage, so uh, if you're interested in the Yamaha side-by-side -side or for more information and to find your closest dealer, visit YamahaMotorsports.com. We were fishing Door County out of Sand Bay Beach Resort, a two and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, three and a half hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis. No matter what you're chasing on the ice this winter, Acme Tackle has you covered. From the innovative Hyper Glide and Hyper Rattle series, to legendary Castmaster, Rattle Master, and Sidewinder Spoons, or the all new professional gray tungsten series, Acme Tackle has what you need. Visit acmetackle.com to check out our full product assortment. Acme Tackle rattles louder, glides further, and glows brighter. Get hooked up with Acme Tackle. Come on over here, buddy. Greg's got one on. Ooh, nice whitey there, Greg. Hey, hey, hey. Good nice job, fish. buddy. Yeah. You know, they, the bite is difficult, isn't it? Yes, it is. 
I mean, I've had two up to the hole, and I and, and they come off, Mark, for some reason. But uh, you got your pound on the bottom, or what are you doing? Yeah, just pound the bottom, and then lift it up a little bit, and wait for them to bite. That's a good yeah. one. Now, where are you from, Greg? I'm from Richland Center, Wisconsin. Oh, down in the southwestern part of the yep. state. Yep. And what do you do? I uh, manage an agronomy and grain center. Agronomy and grain yep. center for you. you for did... Premier Cooperative. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. And uh, take care of a lot of the farmers down there. Yep. Work with a lot of the farmers. Yeah. Nice. Try, try to help them out when we can. Yeah. Yeah. Hold that one up. I mean, that's yeah. a real pretty fish there, buddy. Hey, John, I got one. I'm coming. Here. I'm coming. I saw the hook set there. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? It is fun. Okay. You know, it's kind of funny, they, they fight real hard, and then they kind of give up, and then when you get them up tighter, then they fight again. Well, Blake had to stick her hand on the hole to get one throw. There he is. Oh, he's caught on the bottom. Come, here he comes. Here yeah, he comes. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. That's a nice one. What do you like about that hyper rattle? We well, I'll tell you, you know, it's, it's really worked well out here. Yeah. And uh, it, it's heavy, so you can really flutter the mud, you know, and then pick it up, and then the, the fish will come right on up with it. Yeah, Rusty just got one, and they're going right. good now, aren't they? That they are. The bite's picking up. Ooh, oh, there man. we go. Yeah, he's nice. That is a nice one. What do you like about that bait? Man? Well, this, uh, the Acme uh, Hyper Rattle here, man, it, you know, we're out here every day. There's a lot of stuff we got to deal with. It, it's got a nice profile. It's nice and heavy. Really, you know, the current doesn't take it very far compared to a lot of other baits that we use. Yeah, and it works. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hold that one up. I mean, that's a, whoa, oh, nice job there, Mark. <laughs> Hey, all right, my buddy Dave's got one on here, Dave. That's yeah, going good, John. How you doing this year, buddy? Real good. Yeah, it's a lot of so fun, fun, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's What's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Did you grab them? Yeah, I got them. Here we go. I have, uh, actually, these are the slipperiest things oh, yeah. in the world. But you guys come every year to fish with Dale. Why do you do yeah. that? Well, it's a lot of fun, and I uh, get to see with my brothers and that, uh, especially got a brother comes out from Nevada, and it's, uh, it's good family time. So. Yep. Where is our where is our brother from Nevada? Is he in well, one of those nice in, warm shacks? Yeah, he's in the shack, so he's uh, he's he's getting ready to catch another fish. So Guess what I got cooking for you guys a little bit later on? I hope it's some Johnsonville brats. It is, <laughs> yeah. but that's a beautiful white fish. Oh, yeah. Nice job, man. Yeah, that's great. Bonski, all right, way to go there, Monterini. All right, buddy. What you got here? All right, we made it. the fishing isn't that fast today. Is it? No, it's a, little, it's a little tough today. They're coming. Yeah, yeah, and and they're boy, that rod is fun too. Oh, here oh. he is. Here he is. Here he is. Nice job there, buddy. Hey, very special day for you today, buddy. I want to mention that. And uh, we're cooking Johnsonville's later, and I want you to do the taste test because it is... It is my 30th wedding anniversary. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. And my Thanks. wife is running around here somewhere. Barb, so. come on over, Barb. Barb yeah, yes. I mean, you, we got to... Is there a song for happy anniversary? I don't know. If there is, I don't know what it would be. Yeah, but hold on. That's a nice little white nice fish. Job. Barb, come on in here. Happy <laughs> anniversary, job, you guys. So, uh, has it all been fun? Oh, always, yes. Oh, that's great. Well, you're spending your 30th anniversary with us, aren't you honored? Yeah, this is a blast out here having these two. Yeah. Yes. I'll tell you what, Gino, you've been, you've been moving around spot to spot, haven't you? Well, I've been trying to find them, John. I took a walk about a half a mile out there and... Oh, there, there seems like yeah. the bite is hitting, bite is on. Come on there, Gino. A hey, nice wow, one, buddy. Yeah, there you go, pal. There you go. Now, wow, you, you wow, know, wow. it seems like you fish all over the country, you know, but how do you enjoy this white fishing? Well, this this Green Bay is my favorite. Even though I fish everywhere, I love this this Green Bay up by Dale's place. John, I got hey, one. Where to go, Barb? Yeah, yeah. All righty, here we go, Kalibi. Caleb is my buddy, the guy. Oh, oh, there we go. Look at that. Uh, now, Barb, you have tried hard for that one, didn't you? Yes, yes. <laughs> How'd he hit? Real soft? He did hit soft, yes. You really got to kind of watch that rod tip, yep, don't you? Yep. And you know, she's celebrating her 30th wedding anniversary I heard. today. Yeah. Aren't you happy for <laughs> her? It's awesome. Part of every ice fishing party is Johnsonville's. And, and Rusty, you drove all the way from Minnesota to cook Johnsonville's. All what? the way, John, seven and a half hours to come fish with you and cook Johnsonville. Well, what do we have today? Today we have betters with cheddar and they are a, a smoked premium sausage and they're infused with Wisconsin cheddar cheese. 
And I'll tell you what, they're pre-cooked, so it's great when you're on an outing like this, because you don't have to spend all day just slowly rolling them. They're already done. You just basically have to warm them up and put some grill marks on them, and they're ready to go. How do we celebrate our 30th anniversary? I guess Barb starts on one end and Vaughn the other, and you end up kissing. Let's see how, it, let's see how okay. this works. Okay. Okay, 30th anniversary. Okay, well, let's see how we... Oh, 30th anniversary hot dog. Oh, yeah. Now, hey, happy anniversary, you guys. Number 30, that's wonderful. Thank you. And by the way, how was that Johnsonville better with oh cheddar? Oh my gosh, it's awesome. so delicious. Aren't those great? And they really are good for a quick and easy snack on the ice, and they are very, very good. Very good. Hey, how about a round of applause? 30th anniversary! Glenn Groom here from Amsoil. We're talking about trailer maintenance today. Now, if you take a look at your trailer, it's always out in the adverse conditions, especially if you're out ice fishing or you're, you're towing your UTV or you're towing any of your equipment on the roads in the wintertime. Sometimes the salt can get to them. And even though some of these parts are galvanized, they can still rust once that galvanizing wears away. So what you want to do is you want to treat it with Amsoil's heavy-duty metal protector. What it does is it goes on and it coats the material, and then it dries and it sticks and it keeps those parts from rusting. So when you go to hook up your trailer, you're not dealing with rust, it's not stuck, and it's not a pain. For more information on our heavy-duty metal protector, check out amsoil.com. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. I'm Blake Gillespie here for Mills Flea Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Each week on Blake Go Shopping, we'll feature one of our products that will help you catch more fish. Mills Fleet Farm has a variety of rods, reels, and combos, and I'm trying to find the perfect fit for me. And this infrared ice fishing combo really caught my eye. I love that it's lightweight, durable, and has a smooth reel. I can't wait to take it out on the ice. Battle on Bago is only a few weeks away. Get your tickets now at any Wisconsin Mills Fleet Farm store or at fleetfarm.com. Hey, Dale, I What's going on, here, John? Oh, that is fun, man. When they're down there 40 some feet, that is pretty cool, you know? Oh, absolutely. You get to enjoy that fight for a good long time. You know, that's what I enjoy. What I found interesting, John, is, you know, those super lines when you get in those shallow water fish. Yeah. Ooh, this is another, it's almost too Ooh, sensitive. Yeah. There you go. Nice job, John. How do you like that little rattling bait, man? I like that, you know? Yeah, that, well, heavy. you know, all of those baits, you know, work. They all, they all work very well. That's for sure. And oh, John, I'll tell you what. Maybe we're going to get a little afternoon. Uh, wow, this has been pretty quick, man. This yeah. is kind of one after another. And yeah, <laughs> there, there he is. Hold, hold that one up. That's a I nice will. fish right there, Dale. Remember, grab him by the handle. Yeah. And you got a place up here if guys don't want to clean their fish that they can take them and have them clean? Yeah, John, there's a place, uh, it's called Wendell's, and they professionally do it over there, and they do a great job. So you can get done fishing, go have a beer, and uh, come back, and they're all clean? Yeah, and they'll be, all be done, and they're all vacuum-packed, all professionally done, and uh, don't have to get dirty. Again, I don't have creepers on, but uh, there's a I'll reason, and we'll talk about that in a second. I'll get them for you. All right, let's see here. I'll tell you what, these fish do fight, and you can see so far down. Look at the bubbles come up. That's cool, man. That is cool. Decompressing. Yep, there's one. Come on up here, Dale, if you can. Oh, that oh, one oh, just oh, came oh, off just in time there, buddy. Itself. That's great. You know, that that's 50 feet down, so it takes a while to get them in. But one question, Dale, and hold that one up so the folks can see. Um, when you're looking for these white fish, I mean, yeah, there's a ton of them in the Bay of Green Bay, but how do you pick a spot? I'll tell you what, John. We're learning more and more as we go along. I should say, as, as a guide, you know, one thing I try to do is, is always go try new spots. I mean, right. that's part of being a guide. 
I'm finding out that these fish are are just everywhere. Right. I mean, I've got spots back in by the resort now that I'm fishing, and I'd love if I had better a access to internet here. I'd love to do a live and just go around and try to show everybody that they are everywhere. They are everywhere. Because I can just pick a random spot and pretty much catch them. I mean, we, we were in 16 feet when we started today. Now we're in 50. Place. Yeah. We're coming, we're coming, we're coming. I'll tell you what, this is turned on here late in the afternoon, folks. It's one after another. Is that a good one, Dale? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. that is a good one there. Whoa, there's another save. Look, hey, grab that yeah. one if you can. That's a beautiful fish right there. That really is. And, I, yeah. and, and earlier today, I had to be proud of Blake because she put her hand down there like you did and grabbed one yeah, for me. I know. You know? Yeah. Oh, now this is that's a, a good fish. That yeah, is a very little, good fish right little, there. That's pushing at 20 plus. Yeah, that's a beauty so, right there. Nice now, how do you like yeah. to eat these? Uh, I, I like to cook them on the Weber. Do you? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, smoke them is, is, is fantastic. Dale Strojan guides all of Green Bay on a daily basis. For more information, give Dale a call. That phone number is 920-743-5731-743-5731. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. If you fish, chances are you've used a Mustad hook. That's all we use. Come on, get him in there. Army tank there, Dale. Oh, there is the big boy. I mean, I just can't believe this, folks. Oh, let's see him, yeah. buddy. Look at that. <laughs> that 10 yeah. seconds, though, makes a big difference, buddy. Well, that one is a gorgeous fish. Is that pushing three? That's three. We're going to weigh it. Must have the world's largest manufacturer of fishing hooks. Get the point? We did. I'm coming, buddy. All right, I'll tell Chad. you what, we have caught a ton of fish, haven't we, on this trip? Yeah, it's been, you know, we, we started off yesterday. I mean, we struggled a little bit. Ooh, and, uh, Ooh that's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But today... Look at all the group of fish I, got down there flat yeah. out. They're clap when they get <laughs> caught, don't they? Yeah, they're like, oh, plaza, plaza, plaza. <laughs> yeah. but, but great trip, and I want to remind the folks at home, if they want to get a group of people together, this is the perfect winter vacation. You got a beautiful lodge there in Sand Bay Beach Resort. And uh, again, a large group come out here and catch a bunch of whitefish. Oh, absolutely, John. You know, and, uh, you know there's there's many of guides up here. I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, hide that. So if, if you can't get out with us, there's a lot of really good guides guides up here as well and uh, you know this is a great area to visit Door County just as a whole and uh, you know just love to have every one of you guys to come up and we've always have appreciated your business well thank you buddy and folks that is our show for today please join us next week I don't know where we're gonna fish yet we'll find a place somewhere until then I'm John Gillespie hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's waters and wood hey hey dollar hey John Gillespie Can you?